Mavis discount tire on Broadway in Saratoga Springs. Now the center of the investigation as to what caused the crash last year, which left 20 people dead. The DA's office interviewing Virgil Park, a former manager of the shop that worked on the 2001 Ford Excursion limo. According to the letter, Park City purchased a Weaver Brake Master Cylinder, a device which converts force from a driver's foot into hydraulic pressure to stop a vehicle. An invoice from May 11, 2018 said the work had been done, but Park claims another employee told him it was never installed. Instead, the part was returned the very next day. Park also claiming the same thing happened again the following month. He says Mavis has a billing practice where certain services are substituted on invoices for the ones actually performed. Park says he didn't inspect the limo for the state, but someone else here was able to. An attorney for the family of Matthew Coons named Mavis in a civil lawsuit filed last week. Mavis is liable because they knew they shouldn't have been working on this. And if they did inspect it, they weren't authorized to do it. We went to Mavis earlier today. Just trying to get your guys' side of the story on this, that's why. So that's why we're hoping to get a, a corporate number, an attorney's I number. Hear somebody already. Have a nice day. Well, I, well this is the first time I we're here. To tell you. Goodbye. One indication that somebody's saying, okay, this car is roadworthy, we fixed what was wrong with it. You know, that reliance upon somebody else was, well, that information they got was wrong. Kinlan believes this new information exonerates his client. But not everyone thinks that's the case. I don't think that makes the defendant in the criminal case any less culpable because he was one that hired Mavis and he knew what was going on. 